the Jaguar F-Type is our latest sports car. And as you know, Jaguar has had a fine tradition of sports cars over the years. Many people go back to the XK120 and of course, the fantastic and beautiful looking E-Type. I spent the last week with the F-Type and I must say it's been a beautiful looking car, particularly in the Spanish sunshine. And it's a real tribute to the sports car lineage of Jaguar. It's a celebration of the 75 years of fantastic sports cars from Jaguar. So we thought it was a fitting tribute to our last ICE, to our last 24 model year car, to do a, you know, a special edition which um, many, many customers, I think, will look at and go, I want one of those, an F-Type 75. We knew it was the last car. We knew we had to do something special. And what we meant by that was our engineering team and our marketing teams worked very closely together to come up with a specification that didn't leave much out, to be honest. So we've got a beautiful paint color, an SV's paint color, which is an, an additional 10,000 pounds. We also have carbon brakes, again, an additional, I think it's eight, 9,000 pounds. They're about the only two extra options I would put on the standard spec. Brakes, paint color, everything else perfect, go for black. So just going back to the, the F-Type and its drivability, Driven fast, this car is magnificent. And when you drive this car on these roads, you do feel alive, you feel connected. The, the steering's linear. That was something our engineering team worked really, really hard on. Different sports cars have got different ways of ticking the boxes around you know, what the customer wants and what the client wants. Our car covers, I would say, more bases. You've got that low ride comfort specification and it rides really well at slow speeds. And then what it also does, as you say, is it tightens up. It gets ready for the corners. The suspension and the drivability really cuts through. And I say our vehicle dynamics guys work really, really, really hard to make sure that we covered a full spectrum of suspension and enjoyment for the customers. The car has got that breadth of capability, that drivability, that refinement. And then of course you can put your foot down, you can hear the sound and you can drive the sweeping bends and it's magnificent. And as I said, smile to your face. A lot of people are seeing this last Jaguar F-Type as a sad, you know, a sad thing, you know, an end of a, a lineage. Um, me personally, and some of the team that we're working with, you know, we, we can see a bright future for Jaguar. You know, we've, we've said that we're going to go full electric from 2025. We have a dedicated platform. We're going to work to a modern luxury future. One thing I can say is that drivability will be important to us. You know, design, drivability, and the brand. Uh, they're the three key things that'll be key to the future for us. So that's as much as I would say at the moment about you know the, the, whether they're all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or whatever. You know, the future, it, it's a reimagination of the brand, and Jaguar really needs that now. And then the time is right for that. We've had a great lineage. That doesn't go away. The brand's quite strong. We still have to reimagine for the future because the future is going to be electric, and there's going to be more and more people who'll want to drive electric cars at a higher luxury price. So that's how I see the future of Jaguar. Looking forward to it, reimagining it um, but very very respectful of our past and you know the cars you'll see in the future they really will be a copy of nothing which is what the original e-type and the original xk 140 was they really were a copy of nothings when people seen those cars their jaws dropped and when these new cars come their jaws will drop